Hello everyone, it's Nath from the PhD Place back with my series reviewing research tools designed to support your academic workflow. I've got something really cool to share with you today. So today I'm going to be looking at a reference manager called Paperpile. Now this walkthrough is sponsored by Paperpile, but before you run away at the word sponsored, just know that Paperpile has been part of my PhD workflow for the last two years and it's honestly made my life so much easier when it comes to managing and citing papers. So I'm actually quite excited to show you why using a reference manager has been such a game changer. And I know that many of you are still doing your references manually and that's fair enough. Sometimes they're always the best. And I think sometimes we also prefer what we're used to. But if you're not using a reference manager, then you might just be wasting more time than you need to. So here's what we're going to cover today. I'm going to walk you through how to use the PaperPile web app and the Chrome extension. I'm going to show you how to organize your references with folders and labels, and then how to cite them with the word plugin. We'll also check out how to access your library on your phone or tablet with PaperPile's mobile apps for iOS and Android. Okay, so first things first, let's set up an account. So they've just actually had a massive update. So after you've signed in, I get like very much Gmail vibes. You'll see a sort of clean, very simple interface, which is one of the reasons that I really like using it. So if you head to PaperPal and hit either sign in or start a trial, you can sign in with Google. Then once you're in, you can start getting set up and adding your references. Okay, so there are multiple ways to find and collect papers, but let's start by clicking this add button from your PaperPal library. As you can see, you can upload files, you can import PDFs, you can create a new reference manually, search online for articles and books. So if we take a look at this option, it's pretty much as straightforward as it can be. You search for keywords, authors, specific articles, books, whatever it is that you're looking for so that you can add it to your library and cite it later. There are also different ways to upload your papers. So if we go back to the add button and import a PDF, you just choose the file or files. You can decide where you want the paper to be uploaded to, or you can sort that later and then hit start upload. Then if any of your papers don't automatically appear with all of the metadata, the information like the title, the author, depending on where you got it, you can also auto update that so PaperPal will do the work for you or you can just edit it yourself. My favorite way to add references is by using the browser extension. So when you're browsing online, you can actually save papers directly from academic databases. So you come across a paper and then you just hit the PaperPal P symbol in the top right of your browser. You can save articles, you can save books with just that one click. You can also do that with web pages, which is really useful if you're like me, quite often working with news articles. And then within that extension, you can also organize your papers directly right when you save them. And then they appear in your PaperPal library. So I have all of these different labels. I've got important to be read, different methods, all of which are going to help me find the papers I need quicker when I'm working on different projects. And of course, you can change the colors, which just makes it easier. But this is such a lifesaver when you've got so many papers and you just need to keep everything organized. You can also install PaperPal directly within Word, so it's there for you while you write. And this means that you can easily search for and cite your references directly within Word. So if you open up whatever document you're working on when it comes to citing papers, you can just click the PaperPal button in the toolbar and then search for a reference. And you can use your title, keywords, DOI, URL in here, or the author followed by the year all of which work and your reference will appear. It saves a lot of time compared to manually formatting everything. And after you insert citation, the reference list actually automatically updates. So I used to leave this until the end of my writing, but it's actually a pretty big relief when you've finished and it's all there waiting for you. And if you go into your settings and tools, you'll also be able to choose which citation style you'd like to use, which is very important, or you can actually create your own as well. One of my favorite features has to be the PaperPal for iOS and Android. So I use PaperPal on both my iPad and my iPhone and all of the references, folders, the labels, they all sync across all of my different devices. So 
Whether I'm using my laptop at my desk, on my phone at a coffee shop, using another computer in the library, or reading on my tablet at the park, I'm not gonna make myself go anywhere else, but I can access all of my papers, read and make notes, and it doesn't matter where you are or what device you're using. The app is one of my favorites because I personally love the flexibility of being able to say read on my iPad, it feels much more like a book than reading on a computer screen all the time. And you can also make all of your notes, you can change how you scroll through the pages, the appearance of the text, so you can actually change the background color of the papers, which I quite often do, to make them more readable. You can download your papers within the mobile app when you don't have internet as well, which is pretty handy for when you're out traveling. But it also just provides a pretty efficient way to store, sort, access your papers across all the different devices that you might be using. So that's my walkthrough of how Paperpile works. It's really made managing references, but also my papers more generally just so much easier. I think that the learning curve is also much more gentle than I've experienced with other reference managers. So it's just really easy to get started. Now, if you're using another reference manager, but you do like the look of Paperpile, they do have lots of resources in their help center about moving your library over, so don't feel like you're stuck. Personally, it helps me stay organized, cut down on time spent hunting for PDFs, and make citing papers way less stressful. Now, you can try Paperpile for 30 days for free, all the features are included in the trial, there's no credit card needed to start one, which I always like to see. I'll drop a link below in the description so you can start a free trial if you want to. That's all from me. I hope that you've enjoyed watching this video walkthrough. If you have, please do consider subscribing to The PhD Place. Thank you for joining me and as always, good luck on your academic journey. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more academic related content, then please subscribe to The PhD Place YouTube channel.